A year ago, I made a video to check out my 2022's first pickups video. We looked into how many games I managed to finish and how many of them remained sealed after a year. I recall having a pretty embarrassing completion rate. Now it's time to revisit this tradition and see how things have changed in 2023. Let's take a look at my first pickups video from last year and see what my completion rate is. Last year, I grabbed 20 games in my first pickups video. That was an incredible number, even though I beat that record with 22 games this year. So far, I have managed to finish 6 games, while A remains sealed. Now, let's check those 6 games first and see if any of them come with my recommendation. Leg is a relaxing and beautiful indie game. I first experienced it on Xbox before getting a copy for PS5. Playing it once again, I find it just as enjoyable. It's a game I highly recommend. Similar to Lake, I first played Life is Strange True Colors on Xbox. However, after giving it another chance on PlayStation, I must admit my opinion remains unchanged. I still don't like it. I'm glad I didn't spend much for this game. The next game is Hua, a beautiful 2D platformer. It's a bit hard to describe this game. First of all, the game is short and lacks excitement. After finishing the game, I just feel like uh, that's it. I also managed to complete it on both PS5 and Xbox. The Xbox edition has an additional tricky achievement, but overall it's still manageable. I would only recommend this game if you can get it at a fair price. Next is Miles Morales, the standalone expansion of Marvel Spider-Man. This is one of the 10 PS4 games I must play in 2024. I have already finished and discussed it in my previous pickups video. If you are interested, you can check out that video. Next up is Chicken Police, a point and click adventure game. This type of games often have one thing in common, they are boring. It's definitely not a game for everyone. The last game here is Tour Difference 2022. My first experience with the Tour Difference series. This game is incredibly hardcore. Initially, I tried to play it legit, but soon realized that completing a stage would take hours. As a trophy hunter, I could afford that kind of time commitment, so I took a shortcut and modified all the rider's attributes. Even then, getting the play non trophy was still tricky. Now I'm not sure if I want to repeat the experience on PS5. Alright, those are all the games I finished in the past year. Now let's move on to the rest of the games and see which ones I might play and which ones I will unbox this year. Here are all the sealed games. I plan to unbox Journey Soul 7, but I doubt I will get around to playing it this year. I want to take all Soul and Fairy 7 first. I also want to try Sayonara Wild Hearts. But it seems quite challenging, so I'm not sure if I will have the time for it. Case and the Wild Masks has a speed run trophy, which kind of discourages me from starting it. I might give House of Ashes a try to see if I like the series or not. As for the rest of the games, they will probably remain sealed. For those games we have already unboxed, as I mentioned, the only game I really care about in the title milestone is Frontline. However, after playing it, it is not as fun as I remembered. As for the other games in this collection, I might give them a shot in the future. I had actually planned to play Tales of Arise last year. However, they released a DLC with trophies, so I need to get that DLC first. The only Resident Evil we are going to play this year is 5, so I will not touch 3. I remember mentioning that I want to start playing the Wonder Boy series. Maybe I will get to it later this year. As for King's Bounty 2, it's going directly to the backlog. Overall, I've finished 6 out of 20 games. The completion rate for this year is 30%. This is an improvement from last year's 23%. We have definitely made progress. However, I believe we can do better. Our goal for next year is to achieve a 50% completion rate, which means I will need to finish 11 games. Wait a minute, 11 games. 
I feel I just set myself up. That sounds like a challenge number. Let's see how far we can push ourselves. The last thing I would like to discuss is while making this video, it has brought back a lot of memories. A year ago, I was still living in my old apartment. I remember walking 10 minutes to the Amazon locker to pick up, make a landlord in the cold winter. Also, the trip to the local gas stop to pick up gas guzzlers extreme. That was my first time using their store pickup option and it wasn't a pleasant experience. Many of these memories are still fresh, but a lot has changed in the past 12 months. After nearly 14 years, I finally left my old apartment by the end of 2023. As some of you may know, 2023 was a rough year for me. Looking back, it seems like everything started going south after last year's first pickups video. I constantly ask myself what exactly went wrong. How did things turn upside down so quickly? As today, I still have no answer for these questions. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like today's content, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I will see you soon.